Can you imagine the terror of being taken hostage, your fate hanging in the balance of a volatile political situation? This is a story of 58 individuals, their lives forever marked by such a harrowing ordeal. Seven weeks ago, on the 7th of October, a series of attacks on Israel led to the capture of these innocent lives by Hamas. Forty of these hostages, all women and children, found their freedom as part of a deal between Israel and Hamas. In a separate negotiation facilitated by the Egyptian government, 17 Thai hostages and one Filipino were also released. The terms of the temporary truce between Israel and Hamas stated that a total of 50 hostages will be released during a four-day pause in fighting, which began on November 24th. Another group is due to be freed on the afternoon of today, the 27th of November. In exchange for the release of these hostages, 150 Palestinian women and teenagers are to be released from Israeli jails. So far, 117 have been freed. As part of the deal, hundreds of lorries of humanitarian aid, medical supplies and fuel will be allowed into Gaza. Among the hostages was Emily Hand, a nine-year-old Irish-Israeli girl who was released on November 25th. Emily's father, Tom Hand, expressed the family's emotion after 50 challenging and complicated days, stating they were happy to hug Emily again, but had not forgotten the other people still being held captive. Other families, like Doron Katz Ashes, were also ripped apart in this ordeal. Doron, along with her two daughters, were taken captive while staying with relatives near the Gaza border. Her husband, Yoni, saw a video of his wife and daughters being loaded onto a truck with other hostages. Upon their release, he expressed his determination to help his family recover from this trauma and his commitment to ensuring the return of the remaining hostages. Hila Rotem Shoshani, a 13-year-old, was released while her mother remains in captivity. Israeli-American Abigail Idan, who was just three years old at the time of her capture, was also among the hostages. Abigail turned four while she was held hostage. To recap, 58 hostages have been released as part of a temporary truce between Israel and Hamas, with more expected to be freed today. In exchange, 150 Palestinian women and teenagers are to be released from Israeli jails, with 117 freed so far. This hostage situation, which began with the October 7th attacks on Israel, continues to evolve, and the lives of those involved hang in the balance. The story of these hostages is a stark reminder of the human cost of conflict. It underscores the urgency of diplomatic negotiations and the importance of valuing human life above political gain. As we follow this story, we are reminded of the power of hope and the resilience of the human spirit.